we have to understand exactly um, the problems that um, are in the area. So Bitcoin is, if you want, in this like big design space, it's just one specific protocol. How can we make it better? Which means like faster while keeping it secure. Um, in order to be able to do that, um, we have to start from basic principles. And the good thing is that computer science right now is quite mature in terms of being able to precise define problems and their properties. Um, it's just that, and I'm talking and I'm saying this both based on my own research and in the interaction with people that are actually working in computer science and trying to formalize problems. Um, Bitcoin is actually quite interesting to formalize because it, even from a completely theoretical point of view, it looks at problems that we looked at for many years and it looks at them from a different point of view. So this by itself is fascinating from also a theory point of view, not just a sort of real world practical point of view. So yeah, I would, I would expect like um, a lot of very nice research also in theory to um, be motivated by uh, what Bitcoin does. And that would be like in game theory, uh, that would be like in distributed systems and, and in cryptography. My hope is that Greece would be a tremendous place to actually try cryptocurrencies. Um, that would be, but I have to say also at the same time that um, a lot of um, a lot of people in Greece they're still like quite behind from adopting or be willing to experiment. I mean, and it's, um, it's sad to say that in many aspects like Greek society is still quite conservative and I really do hope that actually with events like that uh, that do happen in Greece and they bring like um, a lot of people that uh, are at the cutting edge of research in Bitcoin, like we will um, inseminate the area and uh, the students uh, that are attending like will actually be the um, sort of the carriers of these new ideas like in uh, Greek society.